Hello and welcome to, for the 4th of April 2018, Caragoricals Pub Quiz. This week we're looking at Quiz 47, which contains cartoons, comics and gangs. Alright, the rules are as usual, the quiz is out of 24 and you get 2 points for question 10, 5 points for question 19, give yourself 60 to 120 seconds per question and if you like it please upvote it on reddit and leave me a comment i try to reply to every single comment uh, and if you really really like it i have a patreon which i should add to this slide next week we'll see um question one then name any one of the characters shown below they are taken from children's tv shows you can have a consolation half point if you can name one of the tv shows but none of the characters so we have two characters on the bottom left from one TV show, two characters in the center from another, and a single character on the right from a third. Can you name any one of the characters? Question two. Turkey is a nation of 80 million or so people. It is interesting to note that its capital city is not its most populated city. For half a point each, name the capital city of Turkey and name the most populous city of Turkey. Question three. What is the medical name for the voice box? It is also, ah, it is where the vocal cords can be found and it is also itself a vital part of vocal sound formation. Question four. Which of the following four cities lies furthest west? Is it A, Oslo, Norway, B, Copenhagen, Denmark, C, Munich, Germany, or D, Rome, Italy? This is another really tricky one of these. They are not very far apart at all, but we're looking for which one lies furthest west. Question five. Expand any one of these for the point. This is the acronyms. We have the PLO was founded in 1964. The candidate received funds from two super PACs. Uh, the solution was weak, only two PPM. Question six. Two of the following nine names are not the names of a type of shark. Select either one of those two imposters. So which of the following is not a real type of shark? Is it the goblin shark? the mako shark, the merlin shark, the tiger shark, the boxer shark, the whale shark, the carpet shark, the bullhead shark, or the blue shark. Two of those are not real. Pick either one of the two. Question seven. In what year was Osama bin Laden, or more fully, Osama ibn Muhammad ibn Awad ibn Laden, killed? He was shot by US forces at his residential compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, but in what year? Question 8. Below is a mashup of four European flags. For the point, name any two of the countries or other entities, not all of them are countries, that are represented. Half a point for each of the two. Question nine. This is the anagram question. So we're looking for a philosopher and scientist from history in the anagram cannabis fork. I appreciate that fork is not a real word, but I wanted to use it anyway. Question 10. This is the two-parter. So for 10A, Descartes was dubbed by his uh, was dubbed the father of modern Western philosophy and was an accomplished scientist and mathematician besides. Give any year during which he was alive. He lived to be 53, so you've got a decent span in which you can get the right answer. And 10B, also on Descartes. Answer either one of the following. I think therefore I am is Descartes' most famous uh, philosophical statement. Give the original Latin version of the statement. Or, alternatively, give both the country of Descartes' birth and the country where he died. You cannot have half a point for one of them, though. Question 11. 
under the Badminton World Federation, how many points must one player score to win a single game? This is assuming that they achieve a sufficient margin of victory, so there's no tiebreakers involved. In 2006, the number of points was changed as part of a scoring system update, but I will accept both the old and the new figures. Question 12. This is the what year question, so all of these events happened in the same year and you need to tell me which year that is. We have Mahatma Gandhi sets off on a 200 mile protest march. The first FIFA World Cup is held. The Dane Einar Wegner, who is later known as Lili Elb, undergoes sexual reassignment surgery in Dresden, Germany. The cartoon character Betty Boop premieres in Dizzy Dishes. Haile Selassie is crowned Emperor of Ethiopia. Pluto is discovered by Clyde Tombaugh. Buzz Aldrin, Steve McQueen, Clint Eastwood, Princess Margaret of the United Kingdom and Sir Sean Connery are all born. What year? Question 13. Easter Island is famous for its sculptures of giant stone heads that dominate the landscape. It was named Easter Island because it was first discovered by the Dutch on Easter. Answer any two of the following for half a point each. First, what is the name of the giant stone heads? Second, what is the indigenous name of Easter Island? And third, which country now administers Easter Island? Question 14. Name any one chemical element with an atomic number between 37 and 54, including 37 and 54. That means that they would fall on the fifth row of the periodic table, where you can see I've removed all of the uh, symbols. Question 15. Below are three superheroines that have not featured in any recent film. Name any one of them, and we're looking for the hero name here, not the real name. Question 16. This is the maths question. The following is a quadratic equation. Find the coordinates of the minimum point on the graph of this equation. Question 17. What order in the Catholic Church, named after the saint that founded it in 1209, holds that its priests should be poor? The most extreme followers were forbidden to own any property and expected to beg for food while preaching. Most subdivisions are not so strict. Question 18. In World War II, Josef Mengele was a physician at Auschwitz concentration camp where he headed horrific experiments on the inmates with no regard for the health, safety or suffering of the victims. He focused his studies on a few particular types of victim. Name any one type of subject that he took particular interest in, according to his notes. Which brings us to our five-parter, which this week features films featuring gangs. So for 19A, we're looking at West Side Story, which is a musical set in the Upper West Side neighborhood of New York City, inspired by Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Answer either one of the following. Name either one of the gangs in the musical, or give the year, plus minus one, in which this 10 times Oscar winning film w was released. And it is of course a adaptation of the musical, but we're looking for the year of release of the film if you're going for that. 19B, Gangs of New York is a 2002 American period drama it is directed by Martin Scorsese and it received nine Oscar nominations. Name any of the actors or actresses that played the three leading roles. The roles of William Bill the Butcher Cutting, Amsterdam Vallon, or Jenny Everdeen. And for 19C. The Untouchables is a 1987 American gangster film and it follows the Untouchables team's attempts to bring Al Capone to justice during Prohibition. Name the hero of the film played by Kevin Costner. Or for half a point only, what charge is the gangster Al Capone eventually convicted of? 
19D. A Clockwork Orange is a 1971 film directed by Stanley Kubrick based on a 1962 novel. Answer any one of the following. Who wrote the book, A Clockwork Orange? What is the main character's first name? What is the name of the experimental aversion therapy to which he is subjected? So those are three possible things that you can answer to get the point here. And to round out our miniature theme of films featuring gangs, we have, of course, the Godfather trilogy. They are perhaps the best known and most influential gangster films of all time. Give the year in which any one of the three parts was released, and if you're off by half a point, uh, if you're off by one year, you can have half a point. All right. So that concludes the questions that are worth points. Uh, we've got a very famous song today. We've got uh, My My, This American Pie, drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And you have to tell me who originally sang that song. All right, time to go through the answers. So I hope you've taken a guess at everything you want to take a guess at. The answers for the cartoon characters are Scoop and Pilchard from Bob the Builder, Professor Pat Pending and Penelope Pitstop. Entirely too many P's in this question, but they're from the Wacky Racers. Uh, and Big Ears from Noddy. You can have the whole point for any one of those five names and half a point if you got any one of those three cartoons. Question two, we were looking for Ankara, the capital city of Turkey, and Istanbul for the most populous. I will not accept Constantinople or Byzantium. Question three. The larynx is the medical name for the voice box. Hence laryngitis being complete loss of voice. Question four. The furthest west is Oslo, Norway at 10 degrees and 44 east. You can see that there's a whole degree in it, but not much more than that. Question five, the acronyms PLO was Palestine, uh, Palestinian Liberation Organization or Palestine Liberation Organization. Uh, Political Action Committee, very uh, hot button issue in the US. And parts per million, which I suspect was the easiest one on the board for PPM. Question six, the two fake names were Boxer and Merlin. There is no such thing as a Boxer Shark or a Merlin Shark. Question seven. Osama bin Laden was killed in 2011 on the 2nd of May. As a fun extra fact, that is his uh, mugshot on the FBI's most wanted list, having been marked as deceased shortly after that date. Question eight. The four entities or countries in this mashup are Liechtenstein, the Nordic Council, Greenland, and Scotland. Question nine. Francis Bacon was the philosopher hiding in Cannabis Fork. I, uh, I really wanted it to be like a good acronym with Cannabis Fork or Cannabis Force, but it was too good to not use even though it's not a real word. Question 10, part A, we were looking for any year in which Des Descartes was alive. That is 1596 through 1650. And for 9B, uh, not 9B, 10B, we were looking for either Cogito Ergo Sum or France and Sweden. And since you can only get one point for the top one, you can only get one point for the bottom one. There are no halves available here. Question 11. Under Badminton World Federation rules, you can score 21 points to win the match under the new rules, but it was 15 for men or 11 for women under the old rules, which are still used for lots of not tip-top level badminton stuff. Question 12. The year was 1930 in which the first FIFA World Cup, Mahatma Gandhi's protest march, uh, Haile Selassie became emperor of Ethiopia and those people were all born. Question 13. Easter Island. We were looking for the Moai, possibly with an apostrophe, 
Uh, Rapa Nui is the indigenous name of the island, and the country that now administers it is Chile. So any two of those gets you the whole point, half a point if you only got one. Question 14. There is obviously a lot of answers for this. We can have rubidium, strontium, yttrium, zirconium, niobium, molybdenum, technesium, uh, technesium, rutherfordium, uh, rhodium, palladium, silver, cadmium, indium, tin, antimony, tellurium, iodine, or xenon. Ooh, what a list to read. Question 15. The three comic book superheroes, well, superheroines specifically, are Power Girl, Star Girl, and Zatanna. Any one of those for the point. Question 16. The maths question. There is a few ways of doing this, as there usually is when it comes to quadratics, but uh, in this situation, we were looking for minus 10, minus 100 for the coordinate. Question 17. The order is the Franciscans, named after St. Francis of Assisi. Question 18. He was most interested in identical twins, for which just twins is enough, but he also singled out people with heterochromia, so the word heterochromia is enough there, uh, dwarves, and people with physical abnormalities generally. But uh, I think that last one's too general. Most people should have just put twins. Question 19a, we were looking for the sharks and jets, so either one of those two gets you the points. And 1961, the film version came out. 19b, Daniel Day-Lewis, Leonardo DiCaprio and Cameron Diaz played the three leading roles. 19c, The Untouchables, we were looking for Elliot Ness is the name of the main character and tax evasion is the charge that finally took down Al Capone. This is a history question in disguise, of course, as it's based on very famous real events. For 19D, the Clockwork Orange question, you could have had Anthony Burgess, who wrote the book. Alex is the first name of the main character. In the film, he's Delage, but I don't think he has a surname in the book. And the Ludovicio technique, or Ludovicio, or something like that. Last of all, we had The Godfather. It came out, the original, in 1972, part two in 1974, and part three much later in 1990. And again, if you're off by one year, you get half a point. So anyone who puts 73 feels a little bit screwed, but at least you got half, right? And my spoken impression was of Don McLean's American Pie. So that concludes the quiz for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know that I enjoy sharing them with you all. So uh, I'll see you next week, I hope. Have a good one.